be showing you how to submit your assignments via Blackboard. So you simply go to um, your your uh, course. You go to content. This is specifically for your projects. You go to project, and then you're going to need to click on whichever assignment is due. You also get due date notifications in your Blackboard, but okay, this is the way you can also do it. Let's say your market analysis section, which you need to um, submit, you click on market analysis. And then, okay, let me just quickly go here to view as a student so that you can kind of see what it looks like from your perspective. Okay. You go to content, you go to project, project, change the settings here. Okay, then you click on market analysis and there we go. Okay, so once you've clicked on the assignment, you'll be able to view the rubric. It shows you what you're going to be marked for, right? Appearance, language, and general. So just check here what you're going to be marked on. And then you're, there's 100 potential points that you can get. Do not click on write submission. You're not going to write your submission. You're going to upload your, I'm just going to upload the business plan template as an example. Open. You upload your project and you can include a, a comment here for me if you like. And then you click submit. It's quite simple really. Okay, now what's happening is that your assignment has been submitted, but it's busy creating a safe assign report. Now every assignment will be checked via safe assign. It checks for plagiarism. And the plagiarism needs to be below which percentage? Rodney? 15%. Okay, so the highest you can get is 15%. If it's higher than that, I simply won't mark it. And you will have to change it until you have a 15% report uh, rate or below. Below is obviously better, the lower the better. Okay, now if you want to see what your safe assign report is, as you can see it says report in progress, you first need to uh, exit Blackboard and then come back in. Okay, so if we uh, exit now, I'm just going to exit the preview mode for student and then I'm going to... And then I'm going to exit Blackboard. I'm going to come in again. And I'm going to go to your course, which is that one. I'm going to view as a student again, so that you can have a look. And then you're going to go back to where you submitted. Just mark analysis you click on it again and you will see that what comes up is your assignment right that you submitted can you see it it's been changed by this company called croc doc or croco doc <laughs> which will has changed it and this is then what I will mark but if, if you can look on the side here you'll see what the percentage is now because this document is already on the internet it says that it's a 91 percent overall match now obviously that's way too high but it's um, yeah it's not an original work of course but all your work needs to be original now very importantly if you want to see where the changes need to be made where are you where is your work um, exactly the same as what's on the internet you need to click on this little arrow which will then show you the originality report. So if you click on the originality report, it will open up w exactly where the problems are. So if you look here, you'll see for each uh, new um, citation, there is a new color. 
So all of those that come from this website are colored yellow. All of those that come from uh, another student's paper, in this case, are, 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 are um, whatever that color is, turquoise. So you can see, according to SaferSign, all of these come from another student's paper. So you can't copy another student's um, uh, um, work. It will pick that up as well. Okay? And it will pick up what's on the internet. So if you look here, the green one okay, is also from another student's work, which is a different student. In this case, obviously, there's going to be a lot of changes here, but let's have a look. I'll show you how accurate this is. Look, let's go to slide share. Let's see what happens there. Slide share. Look at that. That is the document that I originally had, which I changed. This business plan. See? You'll probably notice a few things that are familiar over here. I did like the research section. You will notice is pretty much the same. Okay, so you'll see there it's very accurate, and and I will be able to see this originality report exactly as it is once you've submitted. Okay, so yeah, I will give you the option in uh, the assignment to be able to resubmit, so you will be able to submit. And then um, you'll be able to check what your SaferSign report looks like. And then you'll be able to submit, resubmit multiple times, but it has to be before the due date. If it's after the due date, you will not be able to resubmit again. So make sure you'll be have, you can resubmit as many times as you like to make sure that you get a, a score of lower than 15% for SaferSign. But once the due date is passed, you will not be able to resubmit again. So this is a wonderful tool that can help you see where you are struggling with plagiarism and then um, ensure that you provide great documents that are um, mostly your own work. Even though obviously you're getting citations, you're getting work from others, but you're changing it so that it's uh, more of your own work. You're using your own, you're paraphrasing, using your own words instead of theirs. You're just getting some of your ideas from other people. Okay, so we go back to review submission. Um, I'll give you opportunity to resubmit. So obviously this needs to be resubmitted. 91% is terrible. Okay, so that is how uh, you will um, need to submit your work. I will then give you feedback on your actual document via Blackboard. I will also make notes on Blackboard so that you know where I want you to make changes. And I'll also give you feedback. You'll see it on the right hand side here of your document. Um, what I think is good, what I think needs to change, and so on and so forth. Okay, and also you'll get your mark over here, which will go directly into Blackboard and be saved there automatically. And uh, then you'll be able to see, as you go along with the project, the marks will just get added to one another and you'll see what you're getting. Okay, so that's how you use uh, Blackboard to submit your assignments. Good luck.